Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite products for the month of June. And if you guys want to know more, then just keep on watching. The reason why I love this product a lot is mainly because, like I've mentioned in my previous videos, that I am actually on a bargain hunt. So the first product I'm going to share with you guys is the St. Ives Naturally Soothing Body Lotion in Oatmeal and Shea Butter. And this smells amazing. This product was under $10 in Watson's and I've been using almost for more than a month actually. I run out of my um, Palmer's Cocoa Butter meant for the whole body. And it doesn't transfer onto the clothes. It is almost the same as the one that is sold in Sephora. If I'm not wrong, it's called the Caramel and Chocolate Body Wash. It smells heavenly. It I believe Watson's is attempting to bring back larger variety of Sen Ice products which I'm really excited. They're really cost effective, they're easy on your pocket and they're easily available. To be exact, it smells like milk chocolate chips in my oatmeal like I used to have when I was expecting my baby girl. For the second item in my monthly favorites, I have been loving this Revlon's 24 hour color stay and I am in shade 310 which is warm golden and I am actually wearing it right now. It gives me good coverage. This is a recent purchase and I love it so far. Like it's claimed, it does stay on for 24 hours and I love how it feels on my skin. It doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't cake up, it doesn't feel like I have liquid foundation on. Usually some other brand of products, they do tend to feel heavy on my skin. Okay, let me read out to you what it says. It says that it can wear up to 24 hours. It gives you a flawless look, which I believe almost close to flawless it claims to be lightweight which I do agree it does it leaves me after applying the foundation I do feel like I'm left with a lightweight feel I intend to try Revlon's color whipped foundation next but as you can tell I would have to use this up first the next item in my June favorites would have to be this eco tool foundation brush which I bought along with this 24 hour color stay and my St. Ives naturally soothing oatmeal and shea butter body lotion for tools. What I do like is that first of all it is very soft. One thing that I do want to share with you guys is that some foundation brushes they tend to leave um, streaky marks behind after you have applied the foundation onto your skin but this doesn't. So I actually have come to realize that if you were to pay a slightly higher price for a decent brush it gives you a good coverage and better foundation base. It used to give me streaky marks behind and I would used to wonder why is that happening. From the time I've been using this Eco Tool foundation brush, the foundation goes on smoothly and because it has like a tapered end to it, it really really helps to get uh, the corners of my nose and around my mouth. I love how it works on my skin. So I've been really loving this product. I believe this is the last item in my June favorites. So I'm so sorry if this video is taking way too long. And the next item in my June favorites would have to be this uh, L Squad, which is called the Butternut. That looks like this. And it has like four pretty... I believe all of them has a little bit of shimmer in it. And I really love applying it onto my lids. And it blends effortlessly, I would have to say. They have like a very buttery texture on my eyelids and when I use my blending brush to just go back and forth, I believe it only takes about 2 or 3 windshield wiper motions to blend all of the colors together and it looks amazing on my eyelid. I love the color and I heard a lot of people on YouTube about how this color over here is like a dupe for Max wood wing. I have not tried it but this color over here looks really pretty on the eyelid by itself. Since I have small eyes, I would have to take this product and then apply it on my lash line or create an outer V and then just blend it inwards. But I've been loving this product and since it is so tiny, it is really really easy to pack it into my makeup bag and then bring it along with me whenever I do need to touch up but I hardly don't because with the makeup primer underneath, I feel like this eyeshadow lasts almost all day. I am wearing all four colors from this e.l.f. quad. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I had filming it. And don't forget to rate this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!